ये जो सेशन है दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ ऑफ द ट्रेनिंग सेक्शन टू हाउ टू पिच योर आइडिया हमने लास्ट टाइम लास्ट वीक वी हैड अ डिटेल प्रेजेंटेशन सेशन बट उसमें काफी सवाल थे तो दिस इज दिस इज मोर इन डेप्थ और आई एम ट्राइंग टू और आई विल गो थ्रू इन दिस सेशन इज टू इज मोर डिटेल बाय एग्जांपल्स ऑफ हाउ टू मेक द पिच एंड पिच के अलग अलग एलिमेंट्स एलिमेंट्स को किस तरह दिखाया जाए एंड देन आल्सो गिव सम एग्जांपल्स एज वी गो अलोंग बट एज आई सेड अर्लियर दिस विल बी अ वर्कशॉप सेशन लॉट मोर इंटरैक्टिव एंड आई आई माय प्रेजेंटेशन इज गोइंग टू बी ब्रीफ बट विल स्पेंड मोर टाइम आंसरिंग क्वेश्चंस एज वी गो थ्रू so and again if you don't mind i i like to share, share some slides acha can you see my slides yes okay okay so session 2 of how to present uh, your idea at the nib uh, city level competitions <clears throat> this time i'm going to focus primarily on uh, just give a couple of updates on the overall system uh, scoring just as a reminder and then we'll go through the presentation deck one chart at a time okay that's basically the two items that i have um uh, by of way, way of reference um we have collected ideas aur aapne jitne ideas submit kiye hain wo in 10 categories mein hain this this sectors ke andar hain and these sectors will play an important role um and uh, humne pura competition in 10 10 sectors mein divide kiya hua hai hamare presentations bhi in is sectors mein honge so uh, we'll be lot will be focusing and channelizing all our ideas in these 10 sectors and as you as you know these 10 sectors more or less capture all uh major um you know new ideas can be funneled through into these broad 10 sectors <clears throat> just by way of example uh, by way of uh, a reminder ye hamare scoring criteria tha which you have uh, had that before this you should all know this by heart um, um ye jo categories ye jo my criterions hain they have not changed our weighting factor has not changed so this, i just want to show this for reference or, or and or, you have all entered the ideas by answering any or, all these um, uh, criteria as we go as been through competition time scale <clears throat> has changed a slight uh, a little bit uh, uh, as you know the last day of submitting ideas was october 30th city level competition jo jisme bhi hain hum that was now moved by a week to the right uh, december 12th to december 20th so uh, it allows some more time for you to prepare and because we had uh, quite a lot of ideas usko hum pura sort out karne mein uh, it got some time and also hume uh, uh, judges ki panels banane karne mein thoda time lag raha hai uh, but it's all getting up pretty nicely so we have added one more week for you to prepare and get everything ready um, so that study presentation will be from december 12th to december 20th and then uh, consequently the provincial level uh, 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 dates have also shifted the trip to the right uh, january 16th and national level competition and final award ceremony but the, the primary date that i want to focus is december 12th and december 20th that's when the presentations will be and you will all get details of exactly kab aapke presentations honge all that you will get that so again let's not get into too much details of that particular time i just want to let you know you have added extra week uh presentation ground rules not much has changed except uh, uh, you, you all know all presentations will be virtual uh, all presentations will be limited to 7 minutes uh, followed by 3 minutes q and a all presentation will now be grouped sector wise again you will know exactly how they will but from a from your standpoint this is not changed much but from an organizational standpoint this is made a you streamline the process significantly by doing everything group wise 
Uh, and as I said, the, the presentations will be uh, 12th to 20th. And again, the panel will be three panel judges, uh, judges present Karengi. So not much has changed here from that standpoint. Now, <clears throat> um, here is where we start getting into more details. <clears throat> City level presentation or the level one presentation, as we call it, uh, may we have simplified it. As I said last time, the, there are three categories, which uh, three uh, criteria, which will not be uh, focused on at this time uh, amongst the, the competitive landscape, financial plan, and risk and opportunity. We have taken that out so that you can focus on the meat as a more important part of the um present uh, of your pitch so your card your slide deck would now be as follows you have basically 10 slides um, at now at the most title slide problem statement slide what's the what is your idea solution this is important you, you need to have a slide for that <clears throat> market opportunity idea maturity level uh, business model team and strategic partners relationships marketing and go-to-market strategy, then ask what is that that you're really asking on the presentation. And, uh, and then finally, the walk-off chart. Of course, there's no chart for communication that will be judged by the um, you know, judges. So, ye hamara card deck hai, slide deck at these 10 slides that you need to prepare. And we'll go through each of those uh, slides one by one. So before I start, I think what I want to do is to show a little video to show how to make a three minute presentation. This actually is pretty good. It kind of summarizes all the how to make these elements. And so it's about, I think, three to four minutes uh, video. I think it will all be very helpful. So let's play this. <clears throat> Okay, I, I think I have to. Sir, I have share the computer ki audio. Bhi saath mein share okay, so I think I need to, just a minute, I think I need to. Share sound. Let's try this. A pitch is the story of your product. जी सर अब आवाज आ रही थी जब आपने प्ले की ओ आ रही थी जी जी आ रही थी जी आ रही A pitch is the story of your product and company. It is never too early to start sharing your idea. To impress and excite people about your business, you need to be prepared to pitch anytime, anywhere. When giving a pitch, start with a simple greeting, followed by a catchy tagline to grab the interest of your audience. Keep it short and sweet. What if someone started their pitch with, I will put Google out of business. Wouldn't you want to know how they do it? Continue with describing the problem your company or business idea solves. Create a story to evoke emotions. Make your audience genuinely feel the pain. Use the relevant figures and statistics to convince them that this is a pressing problem. Remember to pause for dramatic effect throughout your storytelling. This gives time for the information to sink in with the listener. Once you have their attention, describe your solution to the problem. Explain clearly how your concept works and how you have tested it to prove this. Use visuals to demonstrate what your product or service looks like. It can be a video, a photo or a screenshot of your application's features. You will have competitors, so highlight your unique value proposition. Illustrate to your audience why your solution is the best in your specific target market. Explain your business model to show that you have a solid plan to generate revenue. 
Next, explain what you have achieved so far and how you plan to grow. This shows potential investors where you are on your journey and your stage of maturity and that you have a vision to scale the business to even more customers. Once you've convinced your audience that your solution is the best one on the market to address an important problem or need and that you have a strong business, then it's time to introduce your team. What makes your team the right one to deliver this specific solution? Don't forget that you are pitching to get results. This call to action is based on who you are telling your story to. It can be anything from getting investment, to finding your early adopters to use the service, or getting partners to take your company to the next level. If you feel your startup is ready for investment, ask for realistic amounts based on a budget and the maturity level of your startup. Wrap up your pitch in a full circle. When telling a compelling story, make sure you close the circle by coming back to where you started. Always finish by thanking your audience. Now that you have your first pitch script together, the real work begins. Analyze the language and make sure words are used intentionally. Is the language effective and powerful? Instead of saying, we are aiming to create, which makes you sound uncertain, instead be direct and say, we create. Pitching while using notes is very unprofessional. So take time practicing and memorizing your pitch. A startup story keeps evolving and you will go through many drafts before you get close to a good pitch. Once you think you have it together, do a couple of exercises. If you had to limit the time to only 30 seconds, what elements would you include? What if you only had 10 seconds to impress someone? Having shorter versions of your pitch is very useful, especially at networking events, so be prepared for anything. Pair your story together with a smartly designed pitch deck. A pitch deck is a PowerPoint presentation that you present while you pitch. Use high quality images and only the very necessary minimal text. Graphs and visuals help to support your message and if you don't have a designer on your team, investing a little in graphic design services goes a long way. A professional pitch deck allows you to demonstrate your product as well as results from product validation, such as customer feedback. It adds to what you are saying during your pitch instead of repeating it. There is a difference between an investor pitch and a demo pitch. So make sure that the materials you are sending someone digitally have all the necessary elements of your three minute pitch, including the numbers on traction so far and estimated growth figures. Finally, whenever it's time to tell your story, remember that the audience trusts a confident speaker. Deliver your well-prepared and well-rehearsed pitch in a confident manner. Body language is important and says a lot about how comfortable you feel while delivering your pitch. Your audience should feel that you are relaxed and at ease. So stand on both your feet and use your hands naturally. And don't forget to smile. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> I thought <clears throat> this presentation, this video clip was good because it summarized uh, all the key elements <clears throat> of the presentation, Welcome the, to the, the deck itself and how to present. So I thought this was, uh, uh, this was a good thing to share. Um, Sir, jo aapka, I think so. Be a uski YouTube ki na. Oh, is it done yet? Ek second, let me. Ji, aap usko bas stop kare. Thank you for coming. There they are. <laughs> They're coming out. I love stop. Frank Martel, CEO of CoreLogic. Jeff Mid. CEO of Mutual of Omaha Bank. Sir, I think so. Ugly koi video chal rahi hai aapki YouTube pe. Oh. Haan ji, abhi close ho gayi hai. Jee. Is it close now? Okay. Yeah. Abhi dobara se on ho gayi. Oh, this is okay. So this one, I think what is happening is this. Okay, we this one. Of J I'm going to mess this up. J Star Sparks Change. 
And last year's winner, Asia of Is this this presentation that you're listening to? I think so. Um, a lady is talking about judging and everything. No, no, no. Hey, let me get out of this. Let me stop this. Abhi, abhi ho gaya. Abhi nahi aaya was. Thank. Let me go back in. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> good evening. Sir, I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, like in, uh, I think so, your voice is behind you. I was a participant. I don't know that. Let me do one thing. Now, you can check the window on the same way. YouTube is open there. So, then let me do one thing. Let me do one thing. No, let me uh, share without sound. So, let me. Yes. And I'll go back to my presentations. Okay, can can you see my? Yes, up, okay, sir. All right. So let's go back to this slide deck. This this sound behind it. I I. I oh, actually, sorry. One second. Please just a minute. I think there's something else happening. Okay, that's what is happening. Uh, please excuse me. Let me get out of this and fix it all together. Okay, I know what's happening. Next second. All right, that should take care of it. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so. Let me continue uh, <clears throat> with the slide deck. Okay, so what we'll do now is to go through those slides one at a time, very very briefly. Uh, basically, you heard the it, it, what I. So here is the number one slide, which is just the title slide, and uh, um, and it's for example, it's something like this. Very very simple chart. You should tell. It should basically convey the message while you're standing up and presenting uh, what this project is about, what the idea is about. In this case, it's very obvious. It's something to do with mental health and so on. It's a technology-related thing. It's also a breakthrough. Uh, and without saying a word, you're just introducing yourself. You're giving your name and uh, your details. And basically, a logo of your company comes in. Very, very simple chart. Next is the problem statement. Problem statement may, um, as I said earlier, we just, you just have to define the big problem that you're trying to solve. Keep it simple and focus on why should the audience care. So you basically show the big picture, where the pain point is. So in problem definition may you should show, okay, there is a pain, there is some problem which is bothering some group of people, group of individuals, group of companies, group of a, a, a particular group, and highlight that what pain is. You know, two or three major bullet points, not too much details. Uh, just to find what that issue is. And uh, here is an example. You know, uh, there's a skill here is for a company that's defining to be the skill gap here. So it's the, the 95 billion dollar hair they spend uh, on, on corporate uh, training because of skill gap 90 percent of the business leaders lack leadership uh, uh, pipelines and two-thirds of employees uh, district uh, feel disengaged and unsupported so just big numbers and show the scale of the problem that you're trying to solve very simple okay, so something the, the slide sharing is off i guess oh you, can you see the slide? No, oh. sir. We can't. Oh. How can I do? Hang on a second. Sorry about that. Let me just uh, go back and see. Make sure I'm. Sir, after video visible in the. Sir, from the slide one, we can't see. Oh, okay. Let me make sure. Just a minute. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can go back and. Uh... Okay. 
Let me go back and see if I can share again. Share screen. Now, can you see it? Yes, sir. Sir, kindly open the first slide. You can? Yes, sir. So I'm just going fast. Okay. Can you see the slide right now? We should be on problem, problem statement. Yes, yes sir. it is visible. Okay, good. So this is the slide I was talking about in, uh, defining the problem statement. Show in big bullet points, what is the pain point? What is something that you are trying to show? Uh, just the key problem, just maybe two or three key bullet points. And an example of that will be this. Um, Here's so you're talking about a skill gap for a trading system. And you basically say uh, you have, in this case, $95 billion are spent on corporate training in the U.S. in 2020, 2017. 90% of business uh, leaders, leaders lack leadership pipelines. And two-thirds of the employees feel disengaged and unsupported. So that is generally a problem. That, and, you're, and what you're trying to show is how you have an idea of how to fill the skill gap. So this shows the traction, shows what, what the problem you're trying to solve. Then comes, after defining the big problem, the big, big pain points, you say, what is my solution? And here I don't have an example because you have different, each one of you will have a different uh, um, idea. So here, this is where you need to, in a slide or in, in a minute, describe what is your specific idea? What is, what, what, uh, uh, is it a, a widget? Is it a product? It's a, is it a service? It's a, uh, what is it specifically that you are trying to do to solve that problem? And here, a little bit of visuals could be very useful, a picture, a screenshot, or of an app that you're developing, or whatever you're trying to solve is just to define that. And also, it's very important to state that what you are doing and not what you are, want others to do. And uh, keep it simple and also define the originality of the idea that says, okay, this is your novel idea, your new product, uh, or a process of an old idea. Uh, and if this idea is evolutionary or disruptive, you know, you can define those things. So this is. Uh, then next one comes to uh, uh, is the market opportunity chart that I talked about. <clears throat> and essentially what you need here is these three things. These three things is you have got as assess. One is called total available market, TAM. This defines the overall area that uh, how big the total market is. Then total serviceable market, um, it's called SAM, uh, this part, and then service, serviceable, obtainable market, so on. There are different terms of here. Basically, it shows okay, this, how, how the overall market is. This is how much you can service out of that. And or right now, we're addressing is little. So it just shows that there is plenty of growth and plenty of market opportunity. And uh, you've got to define these three items in your presentation. And an example of that is, is this. So this is a, an example from the Airbnb um, model. You know, Airbnb is a hotel chain. Um, so it basically shows that 1.9 billion uh, trips are booked worldwide. So that becomes a total addressable, available market. This may say the people who go for budget and online trips are about $532 million equivalent. A million people do that. So that's the serviceable addressable market, available market. And the ones that you are really targeting are the trips with, with Airbnb is 10.5, uh, 10.66 million. So you're showing this is, I'm only looking at this part, but eventually it can grow to all this. So this shows the scale of the market. 
Then an idea maturity. An idea maturity has to be defined, um, you know, by means of how mature those ideas that that, that you have, and uh, and this may be there are different ways. So here is some, here is what I want to show, and this is what is used across in the industry where you say you have an idea, and is uh, this that idea, whatever that idea is, you first test it. You could test it very initial stage keeper. For example, I have an idea and then I, I just make a little sketch and um, or do a little simulation or little uh, paper. Say, okay, this thing, is this idea really feasible? Is it probably work? And then you say, okay, yeah, I think it does. So let, then you go ahead and build a little model of it or prototype model or something very basic. And then you improve that idea a little bit and finally you end up with what is called the minimum viable product mvp and you will hear this term mvp all the way every time in the startup business so you build the mvp so building an mvp is is a very important point i think MVP, have you have an mvp as a startup you are really reached a kind of a uh, you're reaching reaching up a, a point which is that you're really serious in trying to get things done so MVP ke baad, the next stage is you you measure the performance of that particular idea, the, uh, the product, process, whatever, on that MVP, and then you iterate it. You try to improve that several times till you get what is called an IVP, in initial viable product. And then initial viable product is now a lot more mature. And then you the, you evolve that product. You mature it even more. You make it better. You make it more producible and so on. And, and then finally go for the growth uh, for larger scale production. So this journey from uh, left to right shows how mature your idea is. So you, what you need to do is to provide the judges an idea of how far down this line you are. The more right you are onto this chart, the, uh, uh, the, the, the number, higher the points. So remember, this is a 15 uh, this item has 15 scores, uh, uh, score 15. So you have to show, just I have an idea that you this journey. Ke andar kahan tak hai. <clears throat> so let me give a little bit more details of what MVP is. MVP ke liye first, the, 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 the key things for MVP is, first you have to have an idea that you have to first define what is your MVP idea. then you have to have write down a set of product requirements, what is called most important requirements, MIR. So you, you say, okay, our major requirements are here. Not, not a laundry list of 50 requirements, a high level key five or seven key requirements. And then what you do is you prioritize the requirements, put some, into some kind of priority. The most important one, let me say, are the top three are the key, uh, key requirements. And then understand that interdependency of those uh, prior, uh, prioritized uh, product requirements. Then you build the product and then you <clears throat> measure it and get the feedback. And so this is the process of developing a feed, uh, MVP. It means for idea career, you need to, you have a formalized process. You, you, you find your set of requirements, you prioritize those requirements, so you know what you're building, and then you and then your those requirements also become your key product uh, process <clears throat> metrics. So basically, in this journey, you need to uh, for this MVP, you need to figure out where whereabouts are you in that uh, maturity chain. So <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so the next item is where people do get confused, and and it's is the business model part. So let me give you some of the templates which will really help you what the in, for this thing. Business model, ke liye, those couple of things are more important. <clears throat> the most important thing is to figure out how will you monetize your idea? That is the most important. Whatever idea you have, you will make money from it. Or what you will do with it, and what you will take it into the market. Ke Skill, uh, basically, you have to have look. There are certain patterns that you look, look at. You have to understand um, what is uh, 
So you need to understand uh, what do you offer to the customer. So it's the um, to answer the question uh, is the what. Then why does the model uh, business model uh, so, uh, generate um, a, a profit? How how would you generate uh, things? And how is the value proposition created? You need to figure out the value proposition. Kya hai, and who is the target uh, customer segment? So basically, there are three major three areas. You have to define the value proposition, revenue generation, and value chain. Right? Ye, ye elements you to define a business uh, pattern. Liye, the template that's used most commonly have, have a, a, is a chart like this, and I'll go, but it has basically three areas, and I'll go through this in a little bit more detail. One defines the feasibility of your ideas. Second defines the desirability of the idea. And third is the viability of the idea. So let me, what does that mean is here? Let me look at this. So this is a standard template for defining. Uh, basically, if you answer these areas, you, uh, this, this chart, can, you have to understand what your key partners are, key activities that you're defining, what are your key resources, this is then the most important. What is your unique value proposition? Unique value proposition is what is your unique idea? value Then, what are the customer relationships? Um, then you have, uh, uh, what are the customer segments? Then, in terms of the, uh, the viability part, what is your cost structure? And what's your revenue stream? So if you answer and, and also your channels of uh, in the way you could engage your customers. So this is typically what is used by most companies. You don't have to do it exactly, but this helps you figuring out all the major elements of the business. Let me take a couple of examples. This is a business model used by or developed for Netflix. You all know Netflix. Right, Netflix too. So, key partners. Uh, let's start. Actually, I, I like to start with your value proposition. This center part. Value proposition is that they want to provide twenty four seven on demand entertainment. Then they want to have view high definition shows and movies, stream content, unlimited access, Netflix original content. They want to have thirty day free trials. You know, commercial. So that is your value proposition that you want. You bring that is your uniqueness in the market. So for this, who customers uh, partners will be investors, media producers, filmmaker uh, guilds, cinemas, theaters, etc. Key activities they'll have to do this. You have to have some technology R and D. You have to develop content licensing, content production, content distribution, data analytics, sales and marketing. Okay, ye activities we can do. Resources, kya chahiye? We need to create a brand. We need to have a good brand for this uh, idea. We need to have the. We need to develop apps and websites. We need to develop platforms. We need to have employees, films uh, makers and distributors, and we have to have our prizes and awards. Okay, then on the customer side, who is the? What are the customer relationships? Well, this is going to be more of a self-service. You're not going to open stores. So it will be self-service kind of thing. So, and it will be on demand and ease of use. This is what they're focusing on. And to do that, we need to, what channels are you going to use? Uh, you can use it on any device. You can use a Netflix app, word of mouth, online advertising, etc. And the customer segments, Kansi Hongi? Well, in this case, we are trying to go for micro uh, uh, segmentation. Basically, you're trying to go right down. Not, you're not going to go to the manufacturers or wholesalers, retailers. You actually want to go to individual users. So that is where you want to penetrate to. Um, geographical language. Uh, just, so basically, you want to spread out. So this is where all these elements are. In terms of cost structure, it will be cost for costs, uh, production, for R&D, licensing, marketing, etc. Similarly, for revenue, we'll have, you are going to go with the subscription model. 
and a product replacement model and DVD rentals. A DVD rental is that business is gone anymore. But that is how you were the Netflix originally started. So this is how they put the business major elements of together, and then you go into more details. Another example by Airbnb. So I'm not going to go into each element here in detail, but you can see what have this same thing. You start off with what your main value proposition is. Okay, you, you host guests and hotels. Yeah, these are very parts of the uh, people. These are the guests who, who want low cost accommodation, variety of choices, uh, hotels, um, and then hosts are, they want income generation. You know, if I have a house, which I want to rent out for Airbnb, I need um, income, I'm doing it for income generation, ease of listing, uh, et cetera. So this is the value proposition. And then you again go to the same thing by key partners, activities. I'm gonna leave this in the presentation so you can, but what use these, this template, it will be, be helpful in getting your thinking right, getting your uh, model right. So that is getting the overall business canvas put together. Uh, all right. Now, other simple model thing is okay, business modeling, how are you going to generate money? So this is how another very simple representation is. Again, this is by Airbnb. The inter-business model will be to take 10% commission on each transaction. So I, I'm sure you're familiar with how the Airbnb system works. Um, uh, so basically they say, okay, uh, they are focusing on, uh, they'll get 10% on each transaction. So the, how, how much is the, then based, based on that, there are trips with Airbnb, uh, even if you consider 15% of the available market, it will, will result to almost $84 million. Then you also have, uh, you're also going to charge about $80 per night for three nights, typical stay. That will give you about $20, $25 in fees. And um, then, uh, the, so the total revenue that you get, uh, you know, based on the basic, uh, basic elements here, it will be almost $200 million. Uh, that will be projected for 2011. So high numbers, but thought out. So this is what shows, okay, yes, actually you, you, there is money that you can make in this business and you quantify that. Another example, <clears throat> very simple. Mm, I don't know what this business is, be, but yes, you want to have a some system and you want to, your revenue model will be based on subscription plans. So you can have three different subscription plan for your, you know, maybe you're leasing your, um, your storage space. So you can say, okay, for a very basic model, you'll pay $25 per month and you can use, use this particular server, for example, up to six users and you offer one gigabyte storage. And that's how much you charge. But if a business want, wants to use it, $50 a month they'll charge and this provide the facility. For enterprise, you'll charge $100 a month and you provide um, these benefits. And you can then total up saying, this is how much your total revenue is going to be. Okay, so that's how business models are made. Um, hopefully that might help a little bit. Next is uh, team relationships. This is pretty much straight, straightforward. An, an example, very simple. Key thing is remember uh, that you, the, the dream that you have has a proven record and a vision to succeed and show what their uh, contribution to the team is. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay. Next is marketing plan. <clears throat> okay, here also, I'll, I'll, let me go a little bit more into detail. Here, what we need to show is uh, what is your marketing plan um, and how you also go to market strategy. Again, you need to answer this question, what, who, how, and where, okay? So for marketing plan, again, identify all the tar key target uh, markets, then uh, qualify the best target markets, identify the tools, strategies, and, and methods, and um, test marketing uh, and sales uh, strategies. Uh, competitive landscape, we don't need it for this time. I'm gonna skip that. And then the last part is the ask. And this is the uh, area I, I would like to focus one more time. <clears throat> 
so here are the three areas that we can ask for um, either ask for money or relationships or some government relaxation of rules and so on so again you have to be clear in understanding so you, um excuse me a second i, I have a I, I, just a second i, I, I need to a second and there's some phone please just a minute a second i have an emergency Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Ji yes, sir. Sorry, yes, sir. Uh, I had an emergency I had an emergency phone call. I I really apologize for that. So Uh sorry. <clears throat> so Okay, going back to the ask. So let me just go through a couple of things in here. Uh, <coughs> sorry, you know, I got disturbed by this thing. So basically in ask, you need to figure out, um, you need to show what is your goal, goal one, goal two, goal three, and the time scale. Okay, what are you asking for and how, what goals are you going to meet based on what you're asking for? For example, if asking for a million dollars, how am I going to use that the million dollar and what goals I'm going to achieve. So here are a couple of examples. <clears throat> okay, uh, here I need, I'm asking for, uh, I want to re raise $10 million, of which I'm going to spend five in the, on the team, uh, four on product development, and one on marketing. And then I need to show what am I going to achieve. I'm getting a team of, I need to hire 12 more people by uh, second quarter 2022, and in terms of product development, I want to launch the beta version of my system by quarter one, 2023. And marketing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to have 10,000 new users by 2023. So you, what, what you're doing is defining what you're asking. You're asking investor to give me $10 million. This is, and this is how I'm going to use it. So that means you have a well thought out plan and you have a growth part. So an investor can then invest in your company because he sees that you have a pretty good plan and you actually there's a good uh, value for money that you can get another example here you're asking again back from airbnb will they are looking for a 12 month financing to reach 80000 transactions on on airbnb um, so uh, basically we're asking for uh, uh, half a million half a million dollars as an angel round and based on 80K uh, trips uh, with an average 50 fee, we can generate $2 million revenue. So basically you can say for well, five half, half a million, say four, it's basically four times the revenue I can generate over 12 months. So if I'm investing, I say, okay, you know, there's a, four, there's a significant growth and is a, is a pretty good model and seems that it is, um, it's a viable business. I can uh, uh, support it and I can, uh, invest on it. So this is, that's why the ask is very important to show what are you going to do. Another, another example, raising $10 million. I want $10 million and I want to launch market, adjacent market. I want to have, uh, do some marketing and operations. 
And we will, what are we going to achieve is to show, expand, again, do A, B, C, and D things. We show these are the things that we'll do. So investor gets confidence, gets, yes, that you can actually generate a lot of revenue. What investor is looking for is return on investment. That if you're spending a dollar, there, you can recoup a multiple of that dollar with that money. And hence, you know, if you have a viable business, they will support. There'll always be money for business if you show that you have good part. This is where people usually break down. KV Pass in email, invest in your but it depends how you ask. If you do your homework right and you show okay, you can get this thing done, you will get the money. Um, here I will go through another, another video, which is, and I will not go through all the way to the end, but I think it's an, another way to set, uh, show this part. Also, this can be a, just simply a walk-off chart. I don't need a separate walk-off chart. If a walk-off chart will be useful, but you can actually end up this part as a, so let me, show this as a milestone chart or as a, um, uh, here, here it is. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on a second. I have to share the sound, right? Hi, this is Mike Lingle from Rocket Pro Forma, and today we're going to talk about the milestone slide. And this is the last slide of your pitch deck. And a lot of time in pitch decks, I see people do something like this. This is a giant waste of space. Uh, if people are reading your pitch deck, they already know how to get in touch with you. You're welcome to include your email address, but there are a few more things that you should add. So this is the template that I recommend. Uh, it's called the milestone slide. And on the left, you show what you've already accomplished without the investor's money. On the right, you show how much money you're asking for and what it's going to get you. How much runway does it get you? What KPIs does it get you to? And uh, will you raise a next round as part of this? So let's break this down. So, oh, and you're welcome to put your email address at the bottom of this slide if you want, but I recommend that you include both the accomplished and what you're raising and what the money's gonna be for. This template is available online, rocketproforma.com slash resources. It's free, you can download it. Uh, but the reason I recommend this milestone slide is the last slide, one, is it frames the conversation with investors. So this is what I want the investors to understand. I'm really good without them. I'm even better with them. This is how much I'm asking for. This is what the money buys. It also instills confidence, showing that I have a plan and that I'm already executing on the plan without their money makes investors really happy. Three, it forces me to ask for the money because I've written down how much I want. You can't believe how many people I see who forget this part. They forget to ask for the money. Also, it gives runway, how long is the money going to last, and targets. Where is the money going to get? Is, where's the money going to get the company? Essentially, what does the money buy? And it creates a little bit of FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, you know, investors get excited when companies have momentum. They want to hop on board. Uh, it, it helps get those checks actually written. So here's the template again, and uh, we're going to break it down. Here's the formula. So the way it works on the left, we talk about what we've already accomplished without the investor's money. So the launch status of the product, we might have a traction KPI, number of users, number of subscribers. We might have a revenue KPI. A KPI is a key performance indicator. So where are we in terms of revenue and how much money have we raised or how much money have the founders invested? Investors always love when founders have put their own money in. So that's the left side and you definitely want to talk about that. So in this case, we've launched our minimum viable product. We have 2000 weekly active users. We have $3,000 in monthly recurring revenue and the founders have invested 50K. That's pretty cool. Okay, on the right, we have how much we're raising, how much runway it gives us, the type of raise, and what I call a FOMO tidbit. So let's look at what that is. Raising $500,000 for nine months of runway as a convertible note with $250,000 remaining. So investor, you better get on board because half of the round is already spoken for. Cool, FOMO. Uh, and then on the traction goal and the revenue goal, this is another place where I see people um, not optimize. 
So what happens is everyone wants to talk about how they're gonna spend the money, but investors know you're gonna spend the money on product, people, and sales. So there's no problem spending the money. If someone gives you $500,000, you're gonna spend it, no problem. The question is, what does the money buy you? Where does it get you in terms of traction and revenue and the timing of the next round? Okay, lastly, I just want to show this one very quick video, how to, they, how to present the whole idea in 30 seconds. And you see the same thing uh, in one minute, basically, not 30 seconds. So where it's going to get us is 10,000 weekly active users. Hi, this is Mike Lingle from Rocket Pro Forma, and today we're going to talk about the milestone slide. And this is the last slide. Sorry about this. I think this is... Okay, I think... Um... <clears throat> this is uh, presenting the whole idea in basically one minute. This was presented in a competition. Sir, you screen share screen share? Yes, I am. Nazaniara, one second. One minute presentation. Two thirds of adults think that traveling would be a fun way to make friends, yet no major travel provider addresses the social aspect of travel. Not Orbitz, not Expedia, not Travelocity. Travel Blender does. It's like a match.com for friends. Register online for free, tell us about yourself, your ideal travel partners, and where you want to go. Then our unique matching software generates the perfect blend of travel partners, and our travel experts create an unforgettable custom trip. Our revenue comes from commissions on trip sales. Our target is the 68% of adults, 30 to 44, who go on vacation each year. Those who don't enjoy the bar scene or rec leagues, they want to meet people doing things they already like, where they already spend their time and money. With a $50,000 investment, Travel Blender can be cash flow positive in 16 months. We estimate 18-fold investor returns by year five. We're Travel Blender. Make friends. Go places. Okay. So I'll stop sharing now. So <clears throat> basically what I've gone through is are the key elements of the, uh, of the deck and and explained also some of the uh, key uh, things like business model and ask and so on. So um, we'll take questions up here. Hopefully this was more useful than uh, just the presentation like last time. So I'll stop here again if there's any questions and let's just have some questions and answer from now. Uh, 
अच्छा अगर किसी ने क्वेश्चन पूछना है तो आप लोग हैंड रेस कर सकते हैं तो वन बाय वन ये सब जो है वो माइक आपका ओपन कर देंगे और आप पूछ सकते हैं अदरवाइज आप चैट में भी डाल सकते हैं आई कैन रीड फॉर डॉक्टर आजम अच्छा एक मुझे क्वेश्चन आया हुआ सर उसमें लिखा हुआ है कि जी द फाइनल सिलेक्शन विल बी कैटेगरी वाइज और रैंडम सॉरी क्या है फाइनल क्वेश्चन सिलेक्शन विल बी फाइनल विल बी कैटेगरी वाइज और रैंडम नो सो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी द सिलेक्शन विल बी द होल प्रोसेस एंड ऑल द कंपटीशन विल बी रन सेक्टर वाइज सो वी विल रन 10 पैरेलल जो 10 सेक्टर्स में जो आइडियाज आए हैं वी विल कंपीट देम इन दोस सेक्टर्स फर्स्ट एट लेवल 1 इनिशियल लेवल के पर जो करेंगे दैट्स व्हाट इज कैन द सिटी लेवल then we'll take them to smith to select jo okay they'll go to the next level and finally but they will be uh, all sector wise and uh, and you have and the uh, the tough competition will get tougher and tougher as we go through uh, the at the top end but it'll all be done sector wise okay um acha dusra question hai um so there is any uh, other criteria to show our ideas kisi dusre type criteria se pata nahi ab inki kya murad hai ha uh, I, i i don't know what what it means uh, basically to make it fair for everybody we have to have a set criteria taki we can compare apples with apples taki we compare across the board to isliye humne ye ye criteria rakha hua hai to this is how will be judged on और अगर आप आई डोंट नो व्हाट स्पेसिफिक आइटम यू टॉकिंग अबाउट मे बी यू कैन कन्वर्ट दैट इनटू वन ऑफ दीस टेन टेन क्राइटेरिया सर अच्छा इन्होंने जी सर एक क्वेश्चन मेरा भी है कि ये जो आईडिया हो सकते हैं आईडिया है हम फिजिकल भी बता सकते हैं मतलब मैं केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग का स्टूडेंट हूं मेरे पास एक पूरा मॉडल है इंडस्ट्री का जो मैं प्रेजेंट करना चाहता हूं उस उसके लिए हम फिजिकल प्रेजेंट करेंगे या वर्चुअल उसकी प्रेजेंटेशन स्लाइड बनाएंगे Actually, अगर आपने बनाया तो इवन बेटर बिकॉज मेच्योरिटी पे गेट मच हायर पॉइंट्स नो वट एवर यू कैन डू इस आपको फिजिकल उसके आप स्लाइड बताएं यू मेक अ वीडियो ऑफ इट यू विल यू आर मच बेटर पोजीशन बिकॉज यू हैव समथिंग वर्किंग एंड ऑफ कोर्स वट एवर यू पुटिंग टुगेदर यू कैन डिस्क्राइब देम इन दीज चार्ट्स विद वीडियोस इफ नेस एज लॉन्ग एज यू स्टे विद द टाइम लिमिट इसमें ये हो सकता है मोहम्मद शोएब कि आपसे जजेस समटाइम पूछते हैं कि अगर आपका एमबीपी रेडी है तो आप हमें शो कीजिए तो आप अपना एमबीपी वर्चुअल भी दिखा सकते हैं सारे कंपटीशन वर्चुअल होंगे और ये होता है कि जो हमारे विनर होंगे उनका उनका जो लास्ट पे हमारा जब फाइनल हमारा इवेंट होगा एन का उस पर हम फिर उनके जो स्टार्टअप होंगे उनको शो करेंगे तो वहां पर आप ला सकते हैं फिजिकल अगर आप नेशनल विन करते हैं तो अब ये आपकी गेम है कि आप कितनी दौड़ लगाते हैं तो अगर आप नेशनल तक पहुंचते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली वी विल इनवाइट यू ओके मैम थैंक यू इट्स ऑलवेज वेरी गुड इफ यू हैव बिल्ड समथिंग इट ऑलवेज गोस अ लॉन्ग वे बिल्कुल यू हैव इट हैज यू हैव अ मच हायर चांस ऑफ सक्सेस देन एनीबडी एल्स अच्छा सर लाइबा पूछ रही हैं वी आर फाइनली सिलेक्टेड फॉर द सिटी कंपटीशन और फर्दर शॉर्टलिस्ट लिस्टेड पार्टिसिपेंट्स प्रेजेंट फॉर सिटी कंपटीशन so um that process is 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 gone out i think you almost finalized now of uh, 3700 mein se humne jo select kiye hain uh, i think almost 1000 ke kareeb select hue hain which we will go you will all be notified uh, the, who will come for present for present uh, 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 usme se then they will the judges will select them for actual presentation so you will get to know ke uh, uh, you know which part of the process you are in but you will be you will be notified very soon where, where you are haan ji live but thode abhi process chal raha hai aapke ideas judges ko bheje hue hain humne jo jo final shortlist karenge to aapko isi week mein jo hai hamari team ki taraf se inform kar diya jayega iske alawa umme kalsoon puch rahi hain ke jo certificates hain wo sab ko diye jayenge ya just winners ko diye jayenge aur iske sath inhone ye bhi pucha hai ke group members jo hain वो सब प्रेजेंट करेंगे या एक ही प्रेजेंटेशन दे सकता है कोई एक टीम मेंबर दो सवाल हैं आपके सर्टिफिकेट सरप्राइजेस दैट दैट 
we are actually trying to work out how, how, which group will get the certificate. I think almost everybody who participated will get a certificate at least. Um, then the prices will depend on which which level you go to. So uh, there will be crash prices also. That again, that 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 will depend on the level that you actually achieve to. Second part, um, second part of the question was on um, um, group members. Group members. Presentation. Mm -hmm. Usually, you usually is good to have your team members in there, but it's always good one person presents and. <laughs> But almost make sure okay, it's a team effort. Uh, somehow you need to make sure you can you can then maybe have another part of the member pitch in if necessary. But you know, it's all a question of fitting it in in the seven minutes. Um, okay. Kisi or ka koi question hai, to aap mic unmute karke pooch sakte hain ya mujhe directly bhi bhej sakte hain. Or Omekal Swami, a core question pooch hai, sir, is this uh, necessary to make a product development in virtual session? No, it's not necessary. But the thing is, what we are trying to see in that criteria of maturity is to see how mature is your concept. Uh, it's just a paper concept. So the, if you build a hardware or something or an app or whatever, that means you're, you're it's a lot more advanced in your thinking. So that's where the jitna aap usko kaam karein, uske wo, wo, wo jo criteria in a maturity ka, that's which has 15 points, you'll get higher and higher score on that. जी <laughs> virtual <laughs> कि हमने क्या किया जो जितने आइडियाज आए हैं उसमें से बेसिकली हमने फॉर क्वालिटी मेक श्योर कि आइडियाज आर कंप्लीट एंड ऑल द क्राइटेरियाज आर फिल्ड अप वो करने के बाद उसको हमने डिवाइड किया हुआ है एंड वी आर सेंडिंग देम ओवर टू जज पूल्स को हम देंगे सो उसमें से आई थिंक लाइक एवरी जज पैनल विल गेट अबाउट 20 और आइटम्स आइडियाज टू सेलेक्ट उसमें से देन दोस आई जजेस विल सेलेक्ट 10 presentations that they would like to see. So they will say, okay, they will come up and say, these are, they, they like them and they want to see presentations for them. So those ones will be called for presentations. So, so what the ones before you go for present, if you're called for presentation, that means you already passed that gate. Or your presentations only, say, for example, from the 10, you get three of them will be selected to go to the next stage. Did you get the Samajagi? The Samatlavke say Abijo Hamare virtual Hoga by December was city level Hoga, Josme select on the book here provincial Kilijang. That's correct. For Samaj, last question, Mera Yaki Jo Hamare, Prentation of Denge to Sir Agar Panch Pande, those for some of Doya teen Sath Betke, may teen Sathi only get Aki Bole, as a possible. Haha, because the virtual has everybody will be on, you know, uh, they will all be there. National, national, tak sir, jo hai, ye virtual brand yoga, physical, kuch nahi yoga bhi. Abhi, is pe jo hai, certainly for city level and provincial level, we'll try to keep it virtual because ki humare ye judges or tamam, ye, they're all over the world, hai, so it's much easier. But national level pe, we are not sure yet, depend karta kaise hai, we'll, we will, if, if, if we have, we can do it uh, live or we will, try to do again or maybe a combination of live versus uh, some the, uh, national level we have not thought through depend karte kis tarah but uh, certainly for city and provincial level it will be all virtual oh, sir. Thank you. or um, 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 
احمد شعیب میں آپ کو آنسر کر دیتی ہوں کہ یہ جو آپ ٹیم کا پوچھ رہے ہیں ہم آپ کو سجیسٹ کریں گے کہ ایک ہی بندہ پریزینٹ کر لے آپ اپنی ٹیم ساتھ ضرور بٹھائیں آپ پریزنٹیشن میں بھی اپنی ٹیم کی ایک سلائڈ رکھ سکتے ہیں ود دیئر پکچرز اینڈ دیئر رول اور جب آپ سے کوشچن پوچھے جائیں گے تو جو آپ کے ریلیونٹ ٹیم ممبر ہے دے کے نام سے ادروائز آپ اپنا ٹائم ویسٹ کریں گے کہ ایک بندہ سوئچ کر رہا ہے دوسرا تیسرا تو پھر اس میں آپ کا ٹائم ویسٹ ہوگا اس میں آئی تھنک سو پانچ منٹ ہوتے ہیں تو دیٹ از اے ویری شارٹ ٹائم سو اس کو پھر آپ اس طرح کر سکتے ہیں جی نیکسٹ اس کا کوشچن ہے وہ بتا دیں پلیز اچھا علی عمر تب تک آپ اپنا مائک جو ہے اس کو چیک کر لیں محمد رضا آپ نے NIB, we are here, our, prob, uh, our motive is to make sure you succeed. So, our uh, financial interest in NIB will not be anything. Whatever the ideas will be, you will have your ideas, um, and you will have full uh, equity into this. But the thing is, if you, when you go to raise money, NIB will also help you facilitate that, and a lot of time what happens is that the companies form can be can you help us grow up to a certain level and we may but that's up to you we nib will not demand any equity in any any of these ideas or any of these companies that's number one very clear second is uh for the first level presentation to condense everything in uh, five minutes become the smaller the time becomes much more difficult so how many فرسٹ لیول کے لیے سیون منٹس رکھا ہوا ہے پریزنٹیشن ٹائم تھری منٹس کیو این اے وی مے ٹائٹن دس ایز وی گو ٹو دا نیکسٹ اسٹیج بٹ فار دس لیول سیون منٹس اچھا سر چیٹ میں میرے پاس سدرا مجھ سے پوچھ رہی ہیں جی ڈو وی کنسیڈر دا میسج وی ہیو ریسیو ایز فائنل ایکسپٹس فار دا پریزنٹیشن اور فردر سلیکشن از انڈر پروسیس Um, sorry, I didn't get, didn't get the question. Sir, unko jo message gaye hain, main inka answer kar deti hoon Sidra ko. Haan. Sidra, aapko agar ye message aaya ki aap city level ke liye um, jo hai wo select ho gaye, to definitely aap uh, select ho gaye hain. Aur uske baad jo aapke relevant coordinator honge, wo aapse contact karenge. Aur agar aapko short listing ka message aaya, to phir abhi aap wait kar lene. Actually, right. ye jo week hai hamara, is week mein ham sara isko process kar denge. 
और जो आपके रेलिवेंट कोऑर्डिनेटर होंगे आपके जो सेक्टर के वो आपके साथ कांटेक्ट भी करेंगे आपके साथ कोऑर्डिनेशन भी करेंगे आपको प्रेजेंटेशन का टाइम एवरीथिंग सब कुछ वो आपको गाइड करेंगे तो थोड़ा सा वेट कर लें एक दो दिन में आपको सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्लोट हो जाएगी इसके अलावा आपके व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बनेंगे और वहाँ पे भी आपको सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन साथ साथ मिलती रहेगी सो डोंट फिल और जिन लोगों को अभी तक मैसेज नहीं आए या जो सेलेक्ट नहीं हुए उनको फिर हम ईमेल के थ्रू बता देंगे कि आप सेलेक्ट हुए हैं या नहीं तो थोड़ा सा वेट कर लें ये बस लास्ट जो एक कोई शब्द होगा कि आप सारी जो हमारी कम्युनिकेशन है वो चली जाएगी तो थोड़ा सा आपको वेट करना पड़ेगा तो अली उमैर आप पूछ रहे हैं क्या पूछ सकते हैं बिल्कुल क्वेश्चन पूछे आप अपना माइक अनम्यूट करें अगर आप ऑडिबल है तो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एस्क वन थिंग थ्रू आउट द प्रेजेंटेशन जो आइडिया डिस्कशन हुई है वो उन कमेटीज की हुई है जो मार्केट टेबल है और दे मे है मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी इफ आप person like me is pitching something that's directly related to government ji for, for instance energy ji to usme i think ke ye tactics se bhi viable nahi hai so what's your view on that acha ji so a good question uh देखिये आई जो भी आप प्रोडक्ट प्रोसेस जो आइडिया आप लेके आ रहे हैं एनी थिंग आई कैन गारंटी यू आई कैन पुट दिस इन टू दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म है आप चाहे गवर्नमेंट के रिलेटेड आइडिया हैं अगर आप पॉलिसी चेंज के लिए कर रहे हैं या समथिंग दैट यू वांट टू यू ऑलवेज हैव टू यू हैव टू डिफाइन वॉट दी प्रॉब्लम इज जो आप टाइप के सॉल्व कर रहे हैं आपका सोल्यूशन क्या है आप वॉट हाउ मेनी पीपल विल बी इफेक्टेड वॉट काइंड ऑफ in a revenue that will be affected uski how are you going to do this so all those elements are will still be valid i can guarantee you so uh, one thing i contacted uh, when imran khan was the prime minister ji so unse bhi email ki maine energy ministry mein bhi ki तो अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई थिंक उन लोगों ने रिप्लाई नहीं किया पर जैसे मेरा कॉम्पिटेटर मेली जनरल इलेक्ट्रिक है और एक दूसरी एक ये चीज है कि वो ऑल्टरनेट एनर्जी का आइडिया है तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि वो फास्ट मूविंग कंज्यूमर गुड है लाइक एफ एम सी जी आई एग्री अगेन आई हार्ड टू डिस्कस स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन बट आप देखें लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग लेट्स टेक फॉर एग्जांपल स्पेस एक्स और टेस्ला कार और ए बी एन बी और करीम और आई के मैं दस हजार कंपनी के नाम सकता हूँ जो अभी मल्टी बिलियन डॉलर का ऑपरेशन बन गए गूगल फेसबुक ये ऑल स्टार्टेड विद एग्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग इज जस्ट एन एवरी प्रोडक्ट दैट यू हैव एनी आइडिया बट इज एनर्जी रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड मेडिकल रिलेटेड यू दीज आर बेसिक एलिमेंट्स इन ऑल ऑफ दम यू हैव टू फ्रेम द राइट क्वेश्चन आप सेम आप प्रॉब्लम कर रहे हैं इन गवर्नमेंट को पेश कर रहे हैं इज द सेम थिंग इज गोइंग टू इन्वेस्टर यू हैव टू कन्विंस एन इन्वेस्टर कि ये दिस आइडिया इज वर्थ इन्वेस्टिंग इन एंड यू सेम सेम प्रोसेस यू हैव टू गो फॉर आस्किंग फॉर हंड्रेड थाउजेंड डॉलर्स एज टू हंड्रेड मिलियन डॉलर्स डिपेंड ऑन द स्केल डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ वट काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम यू सॉल्व सो प्रोसेस इज स्टिल एक एक सवाल और कि how we are going to address the intellectual property rights aspect patent right. okay so the yeah yeah acha sawal hai aapka intellectual property 
इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी ये देखिए ये नेशनल आइडिया बैंक में वी आर टेकिंग ग्रेट पेन्स एंड वी कंटिन्यू टू डू सो हर एक आइडिया का हमने एक यूनिक आईडी बनाई है और यूनिक एज सुन एज यू सबमिट द आइडिया योर आइडिया विल बी लॉक्ड और डेजिग्नेटेड विद योर नेम सो यू वी डोंट हैव अ फॉर्मल आईपी और पैटर्न प्रोसेस वो नहीं है but at least what you have is ki once you submit an idea by your name you have a place where you can say ki look i first submitted my idea here and this is my unique idea submitted on this day so uske baad koi aur wo idea le to you, you can you have a claim ki you, you submitted that so the intellectual property will be yours nib will not have any intellectual property on that ye intellectual property wahi hogi jo jo submit people will submit so we are trying to keep the intellectual property process as simple as possible um but um it's it's it uh, otherwise you would you have to go through a formal uh patent process which normally takes 2 3 years in any any country country so but at least what we are trying to do is to protect your rights as much as possible and we will try to do that's a very important area for us thank you sir thank thank you सर एक लास्ट में क्वेश्चन पूछा है कि कितनी स्लाइड्स होनी चाहिए टोटल एक प्रेजेंटेशन में नो मोर देन टेन मैक्सिमम एंड वो एक स्लाइड डेक मैंने बताया कौन से कौन से होने चाहिए बेसिकली एट है नंबर फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट आर नॉट काउंटेड बेसिक स्टार्टअप एंड वॉकअप चार्ट बेसिकली यू है डिस्क्राइब ईच ऑफ दोज चार्ट इन द प्रेजेंटेशन मैक्सिमम सर बस अभी आज के लिए इतने क्वेश्चंस थे और जी ऑलरेडी इट्स वन एंड हाफ आवर वन एंड हाफ आवर थैंक यू सो मच एक्सीडेंट तो ये विल विल शेयर दिस प्रेजेंटेशन एंड इसमें थोड़े वीडियोस भी थी आई डोंट नो हाउ दैट विल कम आउट बट यू विल विल सर्टेनली शेयर द डिटेल्स टू यू हां जी हम ग्रुप्स में जो है वो शेयर कर देंगे जो एनआईबी के बने हुए हैं तो हमने दो सेशंस ये किए अगेन थैंक्स फॉर एवरीबॉडी पार्टिसिपेटिंग इसके बावजूद भी अगर किसी के पास क्वेश्चंस हैं आई एम दे विल बी प्लीज डोंट हेजिटेट आप फॉरवर्ड करें आई थिंक लेट्स जमीला बी द फोकल पॉइंट आप जमीला को भेजें शी विल फॉरवर्ड इट टू आवर टीम जो भी रेलिवेंट है टीम विल बी देयर हमारा गोल ये है टू मेक यू सक्सीड एंड सो वी विल डू वट एवर इट टेक्स इन विद इन आर रिसोर्सेज टू हेल्प यू सक्सीड and we have no financial interest at all in any of your products but except to make you succeed okay thank you so much sir thank, thank you everyone you. thank you thank you thank Hello, you guys love us